Shalom, who praises the Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Arakar, Kudash, double owners unto the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well, and Shalom to the whole elect. This is by Allah, and this is news and prophecy, prophecy and news. I got an article here from the Washington Post, and the title reads GOP Congressman's Gun Toting Family Christmas Photo Sparks Outrage Days After School Shooting. Iraq and the school shooting in question the article's going gonna go into it Iraq um but the individual has as far as I know has been charged but the latest I'm hearing is he could get off on a lighter sentence if he blames his parents for for purchasing and giving him the firearm so you know this is um I say that to say this the divide, the the makings of the end of America, is um, happening on many fronts, and it's it's coming instead of what Yahweh Shai spoke. When you know the wicked scribes and Pharisees, or the wicked Jakes, um, I can't remember the context of the scripture, but basically you know, tried to say he'd done it in the power of Beelzebub, but he said, if Satan be divided or Satan. And he said, if Satan be divided against Satan, how then shall his kingdom stand? So we see that is even spoke of in the book of Daniel, the second chapter, where it deals with the ten toes, where it was part of miry clay and part of um, of iron, all right? And, and it spoke to them, you know, it'll, it'll work for a moment, but they won't ultimately get along, all right? As iron and clay don't mix. So with that being said, the kingdom is 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 divided in America. One of the, the main divides is through the political lines dealing with the left and the right, all right. And um with on the on in terms of dealing with um you know, the gun or or the sword, Esau's blessing, what you have on the left, all right, is they're saying that they don't want they use uh they want gun control laws whereas the right are saying they want to keep their guns right so that in itself is building up a conflict and it and it anytime a shooting uh school shooting which is evidently a plague of the heavenly father right with the blessing of the sword you know he that lived by the sword must die by the sword the, the blessing of the sword and its curse being manifest in that land due to, you know, the, the treachery they've done to the, the Most High's chosen people. All right. Basically, any time something like this happens, okay, and and they acknowledge it, it won't be the last time as well. It, 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 it basically peels back the old wound and reignites the debate. All right. And now this photo has that's been thrown into the mix as well. So let's get into it. It says, they are looking straight at the camera, smiling wide. The parents are sitting on a black leather couch in front of a festive Christmas tree that is flanked by younger members of the family. It would be st a standard holiday family portrait, if not for one unexpected detail. Everyone in the image is holding a long gun, All right? The photo and... and the youngest daughter, from what it looks like, has got the Draco, all right, which is a favorite of your your modern day drill rapper, all right. This is what they they're using all the time. It's funny I was watching um. I check this out every uh, times. Well, more so, I I like to follow uh this this uh DJ academics. I like contrary contrary contrary. Contra, contra, can never pronounce that word properly, man. Quantarians, basically. I'm, I'm a big fan of Quantarians, and um, DJ Academics is a Quantarian within the industry of, of rap. Being a, you know, he, 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 he came in, I came in. He was on. He did an interview, basically. But um, Gilly, who was interviewing him. Basically said, niggas are shooting niggas 
still on fire. They said the ambulance ain't turning up. The fire brigade's turning up basically to extinguish the fire. So yeah, that's because they're using these, these Dracos, all right? So this shows you a little girl has basically got that weaponry. And I say all that again to say this. So I'm long-winded with everything, man. I'll try and nip in a bud, but it's the spirit the Lord gave me. It's my talent, man. But I say all that to say this. The point being is that these Edomite families, man, they 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 got all forms of weaponry, all different forms of ammunition. They're well versed in the use of these this this artillery, and they they're basically waiting for it to kick off, man. And I can think of many um, occasions that showed that. The most recent could be to, to show that as also as Carl Rittenhouse. He basically felt like what he says, like he he. he he was needed at that protest or whatever and he took his fire on right and that's you know that's 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 what always happens right i see uh what's that damn brazilian Brazil, brazilian he did the same thing like he's, he's eating my ass run and go and get their gun in the midst of some you know the thick of the action and then be in the thick of the action so they're more than ready all right and jake you know, you're good, to, you're good to do, Jakes. You are not ready for us to come. And you wild diggers, you know, you, you got one mission left in you. <laughs> A suicide mission. To fight against Esau in the end times, all right? But this man is basically waiting to take you out. So let me read this article. So it says, we'll carry on reading. So it says, um, uh, it would be... It says the photo was posted on Twitter by Rep. Thomas Massey, I believe that's Republic of Kentucky, on Saturday, along with the caption, Merry, Merry Christmas, P.S. Santa, please bring ammo. So that's the gift. They want to get gifted with some ammunition. A wave of outrage followed both Democratic and Republican uh, elected officials, Michigan residents still reeling from the school shoot shooting last week that left four dead and parents of gun violence victims all took the twit to criticise Massey's Christmas photo. Meanwhile, some conservative politicians, pundits and media personalities jumped to his defence. All right. So you can see the divide that is happening. All right. Massey did not respond to several requests for comment on set Sunday. There's a scripture I was actually going to read off the back of that. Um... No. Um, the fora over uh, the photo comes days after authorities accused 15 year old Ethan Crumbly of using a semi automatic handgun purchased by his father to shoot students at Oxford High School. In addition to f the four killed, seven were injured. The case is re has reignited the debate over nation's gun laws and as well as spurred discussion about whether parents should be held accountable when their child is accused of mass shooting. In an unusual move, prosecutors have changed Crumbly's parents, charged Crumbly's parents in, in the case. All right? So, you know, as I said, it's, it's reignited that debate, that divide is re being reignited. But something... This this is I think this is because this is happening over here in the UK as well. All right, you have an announcement being made by Boris Johnson to basically um, take a real stance against um, recreational drug use in the UK, and what they're actually saying is that they're gonna start charging people um, that no they did and this is coming with the draconian rules that are coming into play basically saying that if you if you're caught in a county land which is you know very popular over here in the UK in the in the cities city centres within the UK where you basically have 
and even different places throughout, you know, townships and whatnot, towns and whatnot, where you basically go to a, a area where it's just, man, you got some places in the UK where it's like third world, man, where you go there and niggas can't read, man. And these are Edomites, man. They're just living in a squalor, like different level of poverty, right? So, um, with that being said, and they may may even be Jay, right? But people go out there and they just pump pump drugs basically and come back with a killing. Alright? But now they're saying if anyone gets involved in that, what will be happening is they'll get their um license stripped from them and their passport. I don't feel they put a limited they didn't say a time limit, but who knows it could be a lifetime. You know, it could be a, a, a sentence, and that's alongside, you know, a prison sentence and all these things. And then they're talking about rehabilitating um, uh, drug users as well. All right? So they're taking a, a, a firm stance against that. Now, this, but the point being is that the power is being extended far beyond the norm of prison sentence to things of driving license and passports not being allowed to be used so th- these are part of them them rules you know them coming down and making it more so that you have to fall in line and the parents being charged in this case right really shows that you know they're, they're, they're taking a whole new stance and it's going to have people you know a lot more people getting thrown into the system Right, because this is a real normalcy, right? So it says critics dis disparaged um oh Matthew um, 24 and 12 and because of iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold alright and these were the signs happening in the last days so seeing the love of many wax cold alright uh, reading on it says Chris disparaged Massey's post as insensitive and tone deaf at best and spiteful at irresponsible and irresponsible at worst, while supporters said the foe in itself doesn't bear any connection to the shooting in Michigan. I'm pro Second Amendment, but this isn't supporting right to keep and bear arms. This is a gun fetish, right? Uh, Republic of uh, Rep Adam uh, Kissinger, who has frequently broke ranks with his fellow Republicans, wrote on Twitter. When he first saw the foe, Fred Gartenberg said he thought of his daughter Jamie who died in twenty in the twenty eighteen shooting at uh, Majory Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, which left seventeen dead. So he posted one of the last photos he took with Jamie alongside another uh, of a tombstone. Since we are sharing family photos, this is mine. All right. Okay. In an interview Sunday, uh, Guyenberg lambasted Massey, contending that such an irresponsible public display of gun ownership incites and inspires other people to do evil, terrible things. All right, Guyenberg considers the foe of Massey's gun toe and family particularly uh, egregious as the nation debates the role of parents preventing gun violence days before the shooting. Crumley's mother boasted on social media about going with her son to a gun range to test out his new Xmas present, authority said. When you see a representative in Congress posting a photo like this, he is telling those who may be in possession of weapons that it is cool, that it is okay, and people end up killed because of that, Gartenberg said. Alright? This article goes on a bit, man. 
I'm, I'm only saying it because I'm just hearing this and I'm just thinking, you know, a chat is shit, man. Not that, you know, people don't get exp- inspired somewhat, but it's more so the agenda at hand, all right? And a true agenda is really, it's the disarming of the people, all right, to establish their uh, new normal, all right, and their power over total control of everyone. But the reality is that Esau, that is his blessing. The reason why him and his family felt to do a photo like that and they all have firearm, long rifles like that is because deep down in their spirit, they're Edomites, all right? So let's read this. This is the book of Genesis 25, uh, 27. So it says, And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. All right? And that word there for cunning, as she is irrelevant at this point in time, but Esau was into hunting. All right? Yeah, Esau was into hunting, all right? Whereas our forefather, Jacob, was a plain man, which when you look up the word plain, it's uh, um, plain, 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 plain. It's fun, which means perfect or whole, all right? Dwelling in tents. So let's go to this now, the blessing. So there's a book of um, Genesis 27. And 38. And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto them, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt thou serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And he saw hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And he saw said in his heart, Salakia. Yeah. Just died daydreaming. Um, Salak. Verse 40, and by thy sword shalt thou live and shalt serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass that when thou shalt have dominion, thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. All right, for Esau to have his rulership, to have it fully cemented, he has to serve his brother Jacob, the so called Negro, Hispanics, and Native Americans, with that sword. All right, and that sword comes in many fashions. Right now, the, the greatest fashion is coming in is a little sword, all right, which is basically just been mandated for private businesses to basically, you know, bring forth a mandate that everyone gets that yab, all right? So that's one of the forms of the sword, but Esau on many different fronts utilizes that sword. There's even another clip I need to upload. Um where it basically goes into uh, Esau basically putting in sawdust into Rice Krispie snacks, man. And he just, in the, the, the bloody cracker, the, the devil bastard, the reason why he did it is just to see if he could get away with it. That's the type <laughs> man we're dealing with, man. All right. So let me read that since I mentioned that. Let me read this since I mentioned that. It's the book of Micah 2. And I read this. I feel like there's another one. But I read this. This will suffice. Suffice. Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because because it is in the power of their hand. All right? 
So he's the only got his power to the to the greatest level level with this man. Alright. Let me actually actually let me build up. Read this first. This is the book of Revelation six. And three it says, and when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, "Come and see." Verse four, and there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat there to take peace from the earth. All right. Makes me think of uh, First Maccabees, the first chapter, with um, uh, what's this individual's name? Um, Alexander the Freak, man. He basically um, when he uh, Alexander um, basically says when the Greeks came into rule that you know evils were multiplied upon the earth, so that's when peace was taken from the earth. No right, but in this time, Esau's been loose for a little season to do the same thing all over again, right? And that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword, all right? And that's what he has presently a great sword, just like his in accordance with his blessing. So that's the book of Isaiah. What am I doing? I just realized. Some may say that's the le- dyslexia. Um, this is Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold it, I have created the smith that bluffed the coals in the fire, and I bring forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the wasted to destroy. Shit, I'm on some Rain Man shit, man. Um, <laughs> uh. Don't mind me, man. Um, I'm just bantering myself. So this is, I'll read it again. Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bluff the coals in the, in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I created the waster to destroy. All right? Now, when you know, in the ancient world, one of the main um, principal individuals within a city the book of some rock goes into it would be a blacksmith amongst many other smiths but let's let's only on the blacksmith because you would need some form of, of arsenal to um defend the city all right so the blacksmith will make arrowheads uh swords shields buckler girdles all, all that type of stuff all right but in this case it's talking about the science the scientists that split the arm and that made the nuclear missiles, all right? Bringing forth an instrument, you know, the, the sword of the Heavenly Father, all right? But that was given unto Esau to fulfill the day of evil, as it tells you in Proverbs 16, all right? But, so, and that's what he's been given, all right? Um... That's the ultimate uh, blessing he has. So I'll end on this. Okay, it's lucky. Um, it's 
one of those scriptures man always forget What I'm gonna do? Uh. Should I need that? Should I need that? Bloody hell. So lucky man I'm, I'm not really with it like I need to be it's lucky so this is Matthew this is Matthew 26 and 52 then said yeah I was shy put up again see I knew it said put up again put up uh, put up again thy sword into his place for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword and that's only why you have this uproar dealing with um Um, the shooting and the guns and all this type of stuff because um, the Lord is cursing Esau man the thing that made you great is the same thing that's going to make you um, a, um, a, sh a shame unto you so without prayer you're edified to the next one say shalom shalom